tomorrow's midterm elections, Democrats need to flip 23 Republican-held seats to win control of the House of Representatives. Senator John Cornyn says anything could happen, but for Texans, the most important race is not in the House, it's for the U.S. Senate. Of course, and KXAN's Anna Wernicke has more from Washington. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn says right now the power is in the hands of the people. We'll have to deal with the hand that the voters uh, deal. Cornyn says on Tuesday, voters will decide which party controls Washington. I think we're going to do very well in the Senate. I think we're going to do well in the House. But despite the president's optimism that Republicans will keep the majority in both chambers, the general consensus among Republicans is that they will lose the House. That's why Cornyn says he's focusing on the Senate. There are things we're going to be able to continue doing regardless if we keep the majority in the Senate, which I'm optimistic we will, even if we lose the House. Cornyn says his top priority is to make sure incumbent Republicans Senator Ted Cruz fends off a strong challenge from Democrat Beto O'Rourke. Cruz is hanging on to a single-digit lead in the latest polls, but O'Rourke says he is confident he'll be able to close that gap on Tuesday. This is going to be very, very close. Cornyn admits it's going to be a tight race. He and President Trump have both jumped to Cruz's aid, joining him for several stops on the campaign trail. Regardless of what happens, obviously this is important for everybody to get out and vote and express their views. But Cornyn says with only hours left until polls open, it'll come down to who shows up on Tuesday. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. So this was a first-time concept of sort of spreading the campaign and giving people a grassroots opportunity to volunteer where they are. Beto O'Rourke's campaign tried something different in an effort to get people out to the polls. They turned more than 700 homes and businesses into pop-up offices here in the Austin area. KXAN's Phil Prazen took a closer look at how those pop-up offices work. You can find that at our KXAN Facebook page. Incumbent Senator Ted Cruz's campaign has also visited neighborhoods, all in an effort to get people out to vote. Volunteers for the Cruz campaign were in Round Rock last week walking neighborhoods, and we'll take a closer look at how both candidates spend today preparing for tomorrow. That's coming up all new here at 6. And remember, KXAN is your local election headquarters tomorrow night. NBC's election night coverage starts at 7 Tuesday here on KXAN, and we'll be updating you throughout the night on state and local races. And then at 10, a special hour-long edition of KXAN with the winners and losers and reaction from both sides. And a spe special streaming edition of State of Texas from the Texas Tribune newsroom with analysis from the Tribune's reporters and editors starting at 7 on KXAN.com.